Sammy said, For he will command his angels concerning you to guide you in all your ways. Psalm 91 verse 11. In either private or public transport, Christians should always pray for safe journey in their travels, no matter the distance, short, medium or long, irrespective of the means, by foot, bicycle, motorbike, a car, a bus, ship, train or an airplane. One of the most beautiful things we can do in this regard is to place ourselves into the hands of our Blessed Mother Mary. We should always commend our journey, the driver, roads, car, passengers and mission to God's hands through the intercession of Mary. Some are able to pray a single, some five or the complete twenty decades depending on the length of our journey. Whenever we enthrone Our Lady and Queen, the devil stay far off. First, the driver, captain or pilot. In Nigeria, there is a common adage that says, the life of a big man is in the hands of his gateman. This does not literally mean the gateman has utmost powers to terminate his boss's life, but that as insignificant as he may be, a little carelessness from him can cost the life of his boss. We enter every public transport hoping and praying that the driver, the captain, the pilot is sane, not drunk, strong enough and not overwhelmed with personal or family problems. We also drive ourselves, others, our families, friends, colleagues, believing that we are fit and worthy to mount the wheels, steer the ruder or fly the plane. Whether medically, psychologically or technically approved, accidents still occur and bad things happen. What more can we do than to always trust ourselves into the hands of our Blessed Mother? We earnestly pray Our Lady, Virgin Most Powerful, would cover us with her virginal mantle as we hit the roads, sail on the water, or fly. With Mary's help, we are in the safest hands. Let us always say our rosary. Second, the means of transport. We may trust ourselves or the driver, captain or pilot, but may not be certain about the means. Our role is to do our best to put these machines in order and perfect condition. But times and numbers have proven that these machines or even animals used for transport are not superproof. A fully functioning vehicle, ship, train or an airplane could develop faults in the middle of a journey, while an animal can even break down. Yet, we always believe, hope, have faith and are always optimistic. In all this, let us pray to our Blessed Mother, asking for her assistance, for a sustained perfect condition of the means of transport by praying our rosaries. Third, the mode of transport, foot, road, rail, water or by air. We may trust our experience and qualification, put our means in perfect condition, humanly possible, but may not be able to predict nature or its effects. The best technology to study, predict, or even control the elements has many times failed the experts. Yet, humanity at times fails to trust in God's omnipotence. In my part of the world, Africa, in Nigeria, there are no even good roads to operate the vehicles. In all this, we are always on the move. Even those who travel by foot are not spared from road mishaps or becoming a victim of one careless driving by another person. We have in Mary a mother who understands our fears, anxieties and worries. We can always run to her motherly protection and care by saying our rosaries. Fourth, the passengers. Sometimes we travel in the company of families, relations, friends, colleagues or even strangers. We may trust those related to us, but what can we say about strangers? Vehicles, trains, airplanes and so on have been hijacked 
in the past by unknown persons traveling along with us. Robbers, assassins, terrorists, and so on can always appear innocent and harmless. But who can see the hearts of men? Even travel escorts and extra securities have proven to fail at times to guarantee our safety. We can always run to our blessed mother before and in the course of every journey to shield us with her love and protection from evil men who travel with us by praying our rosaries. Fifth, the mission. For every journey embarked, we always have an intention or purpose. We pray for safe travel and we also pray for a fruitful mission. Commending the success of our travel into Mother Mary's hands is a sure way of having a fruitful mission. But sometimes, a failed mission may actually be to shield us from dangers ahead. Despite the disappointment, we should always trust everything into God's hands through our Blessed Mother. We can only see the here and now, but God sees the whole picture and what lies ahead. Let us always pray that God's will be done and commend everything into God's hands through the intercession of our Blessed Mother.